Hey everybody, this is Russ coming at you right here from McCamey Manor. Hey, we're going to start posting some post testimonials. These are from folks who have actually gone through the tour because as a lot of you know, there is so much hate going on about McCamey Manor from people that have no idea of what this haunt's all about. And it's really frustrating, really gets on my nerves. I mean, you know, you're going to have haters anywhere you go but it's ridiculous and it's really only from a a small amount of people but these people try to cause a lot of trouble so this is for all you haters out there there's gonna be uh, several different posts and these are all from people who have gone through and they're gonna answer the questions and talk and hopefully this is gonna clear up some of this nonsense because it's disgusting the kind of things that people say about myself in the haunt it's it's disgusting i mean i really kind of feel sorry for them it's like they have nothing else to do I'm, I'm glad we can be your hobby i guess but wow you know find something else man go out there and get a life so this is going out to all the haters and you know who you are so this is the truth not what you guys say what you guys say you have no idea what you're talking about you've never gone through it and the ones that have gone through it who have turned into a hater that's because they were like fired from working at the haunt because everybody that comes through wants to be an actor and, and i let a lot of people through but if you can't cut it or if you do something stupid like some people have done i let you go and then those people have turned into crazy people and so it's it's amazing it's amazing but anyways here we go part one of the real life post interviews from people who actually have gone through so for all you haters out there spend some time watching this and then you can talk not until all right guys take care bye bye Alright, so tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Christina Buster. I had come to the tour in October of eight, October the 18th of 2014. And you came all the way from where? All the way from Kuwait. It was a 19, between a 19 and a 20, 21 hour flight just to spend my vacation to go through McCamey Manor. Oh, that's which I get a vacation once a year and that is about it that's crazy De that's dedication there i'll tell you what man we love that oh it, it was a very long flight was it worth it it was totally worth it <laughs> it was so worth it in fact it was so worth it you're gonna do it again i know how pretty insane is sane is that and if it was such a terrible place why would somebody want to come back and do it again in fact, tell them how much you spent to get a ticket because we don't charge, obviously, but this John had a special thing going for his movie, right? You did that one. Didn't you do that one? Correct. Um, so expl I, explain I did, what that is. I, right. It was a, it really, I did it because um, well, John explain, had explain, a explain, of, explain, explain, explain what it is. What did you do? Okay. John, John, um, I can never pronounce his last name. Snitzer. Snitzer is producing a movie and it's all these haunts throughout California, but it's throughout the world and throughout the, all the other states. And he's going in and just videotaping what all these haunts are about. And during the time when I was there, he videotaped my tour and he's also done other tours that have gone through there too. So I'm not the only one. And um, he was doing a thing, and he needed backers to get his movie on, on the big screen. And me, it's not about how much it cost to me. It's about helping somebody that has the same kind of um, energy and, and excitement about Halloween and everything that has to do with it 
as much as I love it, if it was 365 days out of the year, I wish it was. So that's the reason why I did it. Not so much to have to be able to go to McKinney Manor, and that was the reason why I did it, which was not. It just was an added bonus that was an unexpected bonus so this to is, be able to come back. So this is a, a Kickstarter program that John had to complete his movie. And he had like different prices that people could pay. And, and, the, and the ultimate price would be a special tour here and then also to go around and see all the, the other haunts. And normally I don't let people go through the haunt more than once. And this was your way that you got it guaranteed for sure that you were going to go through again. I loved it. Yes, but it was it wasn't something that I was expected. So it was it was a very it was it was cool. It was beyond beyond anything that 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 I expected at all. And it's and for me, even though I went through it last year, it's a whole different. It's going to be a whole new different experience, different actors, new sets. Yeah. So it's surely not going to be the same. As what it was when I went last year. Not at all. So tell everybody how much you paid for this special one of a kind ticket to get here again. One thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's right. One thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. How cool is that? And that's going to John's Kickstarter movie. And for Correct. that, for that, you get a personalized tour through the manor and. And then you and me and the other folks that paid that amount, because others did too, for John's movie, we're going to take a big old whirlwind haunt tour of all the haunts in Southern California. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, that'll be fun, man. I, I hope you are I hope you protect me when I'm out there. You might have to protect me. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm a, big, I'm a big baby. You're going to have to protect me. <laughs> as long as they don't do spiders, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, no you don't, spiders. You don't like spiders. I remember that. You don't like. No, spiders. I don't like spiders. But we have we have new friends for you now, so you don't have to worry about the spiders. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you ready for your interview? Oh, I'm so ready. All right, let's, let's get, do this. Let's get all these haters straight. Is what I like to say. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, were you? Question one: Were you forced in any way whatsoever to partake in the McKamey Manor experience? Not by any means. Um, I had watched the videos, so I knew what somewhat I was what I was getting into. I knew it was going to be brutal. I knew it was going to be rough. So, by no means was I. Um, forced to go to McCain Manor in any shape, way, or form. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, question two. Were you warned numerous times about the intensity of the haunt? Yes. Actually, people, after they do their tour with their exit video, warned by them. Um, also warned by you in your pre-videos before the people actually go through about stay away from this place it's not for everybody um basically be a special type of person to be able to go through this type of haunt and um so i knew what i was getting myself into and you don't have to go you go by choice you're not forced to go and, and like you said we we screen you ahead of time and give you all the ins and outs and tell you exactly what's going to happen so you know and give you a thousand chances to get the heck out of here, right? Exactly. I know when I had my Skype interview for, from you, you asked me a bunch of questions about my health and about my mental state to make sure that I was in a good condition and that I was a good candidate to go through the haunt. So I was aware and you told me everything that I needed to know to decide at that point from the Skype interview whether um, I wanted to do this or not. Yeah. After you gave me kind of like the, okay, you're good to go, are you sure that you want to do it? So you gave me a couple chances to back out if I really wanted to back out. Absolutely. All right, and this kind of leads into the next question is, did myself or other crew members try to talk you out of the tour and were you told numerous times that you really don't want to do this? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're kind of, you're told but that a me, lot. <laughs> but me being hard-headed, I guess I just didn't listen. 
I love it. I love. Well, that's why we. Uh, that's why we love you guys, man. You guys are dedicated, and and now you're a huge supporter after going through, and you love it, and that's that's so cool, and that's how it is with 99% of the people that go through, is they turn into major big fans, and they want to work the hunt, and they want to do all that stuff. So that's so cool. And hopefully, when uh, this will be my last, I'll be leaving Kuwait at the end of this year. So hopefully, maybe next year when I move to California, maybe you'll let me come and act. Hopefully. Heck yeah! Of course I'm we like, will. I'll be a seasoned veteran, I guess. Heck yeah! <laughs> Hang on a second. Carol's making a bunch of noise, and here, this is Carol Sorry. making. She's making noise. I'm making oh, there's my greyhounds. <laughs> here's one. There's somebody. Hey. Joe. There's Jewel down there. Okay, hi baby doll. Hi honey. Hi baby. Alright, there we go. So, alright, next question is, um, did you freely sign the liability waiver and did you have time to read it and, you know, did, did you understand what the heck you were signing? Yes, to the, yes, we had plenty of time to read it and to sign it. And um, we, I didn't feel like I was rushed in any shape, way, or form um, and had to read it fast in a fast manner of any nature. So I um, felt I had plenty of time to read it, sign it, and knew what I was getting myself into. Absolutely. Okay, this is a good one here. I love this one. People say this all the time. At any time during the hunt, did you truly honestly believe that your life was in danger that you were going to die not in any shape way or form was i scared yes did my body go into shock yes <laughs> <laughs> but did i feel like my life was um and, any way shape or form and and, and what in danger and, no and what happened when when you started kind of going goofy on us what did we do did we make you go on or do we pull you out no you actually you pulled me out put yep. me in like a little rest in area yeah the living and room and <laughs> you gave me and basically um you were going to put me back in but i asked and out of my own free will I asked to go back in, so I knew what I was getting getting myself back into when I got when I went back into the haunt. Yeah, because I I pulled you out like I do everybody. If I see somebody having a rough time, we take them out. In your case, we brought you inside the house, and you were like you had like an hour break, so you had a long break, and I wasn't gonna let you go back in. But you flew out 19 hours to get here, and you were like in tears if I wasn't gonna let you go back in. Do you remember all that? Yes, I do. And then I went, I think, I don't know how much longer I went after that. Maybe three or four hours after that. Yeah, about that. Say if I three hours or something like that, right? Right. So, and, and so I wasn't normally, I never let anybody back in, but I let you back in because you wanted to so bad. So how could I refuse you, right? Well, I hope Vegas didn't lose a lot of money on me. Uh, I know. I think I, they they like your spirit, man. They they, they love your spirit. That's good stuff. <laughs> All right. Next question is here's, here's another one that we hear a lot of. That's just so whatever. I'll, I'll let you I'll let you decide what the what the answer is. But were you ever for real actually tortured inside McCamey Manor? No. Was I put through task? Was I put through some um, rough stuff? But not nothing that my nothing, but not nothing that my body could not handle. Exactly. Um, but not to uh, not in the terms of what they are saying of what torture is. No. Absolutely. All right. And we know you get bumps and bruises and all that kind of fun stuff. That's just going to happen because it's close quarters, right? But were you ever actually beat up, kicked, pounded upon, knocked unconscious? All the things that we hear, bloodied and battered and just destroyed. Did we do that to you in there? No, not at all. Just the typical things that you are forewarned before you enter McCainy Manor in the in this in the pre-interview with you over skype before you go um 
what you say in the videos on the ones that you post on YouTube, that you're going to get bumps, scrapes, um, bruises. All that is true, but you don't, I did not come out with broken bones, um, broken nose, which is, I guess that's the newest one. Yeah, that's the newest one, um, yeah. None of that. Just the typical things that you tell us before we come, before we enter the haunt. But not by any form tortured where I had to get, go to a hospital and get met, seek medical attention of any, of any nature. Gotcha. And, and, I, and for all the folks watching this, I apologize for the delay, but our favorite fan here, she's way out in Kuwait right now. So there's going to be a little lag time when we talk. So I apologize. It's okay. Right now it's about seven o'clock in the morning on the 11th. Okay. Very cool. I love that. All right. Next question is another one that we hear a lot of is were you or, or did anything inappropriate ever happened to you whatsoever inside the tour no not that did not happen either everybody was very courteous everybody was very polite um i never had anything inappropriate ha happen to me of any nature like being touched in any inappropriate places or anything um, I never had profanity used against me, um, any kind of um, negative words yours towards me of any nature at all. Okay. Um, and, and this I know after the tour, mm -hmm. I know that you follow up with the people to make sure that they're okay, which you did with me after my tour was over. Mm -hmm. So, no. Absolutely. We always check with everybody. Contact them, call them, make sure that everybody's a okay, and yeah. And even after the tour is over, you you're very courteous. You and Carol are very heartwarming people, and you make sure that everybody, when they leave the haunt, that they are in good mental, physical, and they don't have any injuries of any nature. Well, good. That's our job. We try to. So to kind of tag on to that first, that last question I asked you is, were you ever sexually assaulted or sexually harassed in any way, shape, or form during the tour? No, not at all. That is probably the most craziest question that you have asked me out of all the questions. That's ridiculous, though. No. <laughs> Because I, I try, you know, we're exactly the opposite of those crazy things people are saying. Like I said, you know, we don't allow people to cuss inside. There's no sexual themes. There's no adult themes. No. There's nothing. And there was none of that. There was none of that in the haunt when I went through at all. Nope. And there never there has no been. no sexual orient. There was nothing that was even um, in that direction at all. No, I, I don't think that belongs in a haunted attraction. You know, that's if you got to scare people that way, then there's something you're not being very creative. There's enough really bad things that happen to people. Why would you want to expose somebody to that real life kind of horror and make them live through something that unfortunately too many people have experienced? Why would you want to do that to somebody? That's just crazy to me. It is. All right. Next question is, did myself or the crew check on your well-being and safety throughout the experience at McCamey Manor? Yes, you all did. I know, um, like I said before, when I went into shock, you didn't allow me to continue. You wanted me to have downtime. Um, the actors did come in and come check on me when I was um, asked me if I was okay. Um, and Carol did, you did more than a few times. Um, did we feed you? <laughs> I don't remember if you fed me. I know you gave me a nice warm towel to wrap around me, and yeah, I know we, I had the doggies on my lap. Yeah, we fed you. We fed you and gave you stuff to drink. You were just, yeah. you were like in a different world right then. <laughs> yeah. All right, so at any time, were you ever left unattended? Were you all by yourself during the tour? No. You always had a... I either, you, you, were, you, you were 
the actors were there all the time. Believe me, I remember the actors. <laughs> um, I, there was one time you did, there's one time you left. I don't want to give away the secret why you left, but you had to go wipe off your camera. I'll just leave that alone. But you came right back, though. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. But there's always someone in there watching for you. Yes, and making I, sure. I was never left unattended without some at least at least more than one person in there. Absolutely. Uh, here's another one I like is, do we ever truly, not just acting out, but do we ever truly hold you against your will to where we really will not let you go if you need to go? No. Um, if I, I, I've seen where people say, I quit, I quit, I quit, or... Um, but then they beg to keep on going on. So, no, you don't keep anybody against the will. I believe that you do push people, mm -hmm. but you push them to, to where you push their body to, to where to the extreme where they cannot go any further, if that makes any sense. But you don't push them past the point where it medically hurts them in any shape, way, or form mentally or physically and as soon as that does happen you pull them straight out and they they will not continue on that is so true all right next question is do we actually and okay you kind of already said it but do we actually let you quit or leave when you really honestly want to and need to yes because because you don't you don't you you want them to have you want them to be there and have a good time but you don't want to put them in that state where they they leave being absolutely miserable. That's right. That's true. All right. Next question is, and you kind of already said this too, is do we encourage you to, to continue and not to give up? Do we want to have you keep on going so you can see all the cool stuff? And Yes. Because you put so much time and so much effort in, into one show with all these gadgets and, and, and toys that you have, of course you want them to see everything. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you push people to their breaking point so they can see it, everything and, it, and get to enjoy the experience of McCainy Manor. Absolutely. But you don't push them to a point once they're physically and mentally done and it's going to be in danger to you, it's going to be in danger to them, but then it puts you in a liability situation as well. So, um, and it's, but, kind of, it's kind of interesting to know that we've been doing this for like 14 years without a single complaint ever. And, and, and exactly until all the haters, the few, and there's only a few, if you really think about it, there's just a few of the psychos that, are causing all the hate and discontent, trying to spin stuff up. Folks that never and even it, went through the hunt, it cracks me up. They're like really, and, they're, and it, 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 it really does bring sad to my heart with the whole entire situation only because um, of what my experience was. And it, like I said before, it was rough, it was brutal. I knew what I was getting myself into. So, um, I just knew it yep. was going to be the way it was. Um, but it just saddens me that people are talking so bad about McCainy Manor. And like you said, they've never gone through it. They're hearing hearsay from something from somebody else, but they've never brought out the evidence to prove back up what they're saying. Yeah, because there is no evidence. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, but... You know, I mean, they're just, let's face it, they're just a bunch of trolls. They're cowards. They hide behind their computer. They say the most insane things. They're, like I said, they're cowards because they don't even say who they really are. They're fake profiles. Everything's fake. And they, with all the stuff they're making up, fake. And just, it, they're just cowards. They're just, they're just trolls. And, it's, it's disgusting. And the, the biggest thing about my whole entire thing, which even irks me any more, and more, is Operation Greyhound. As a person that is an admin for that for that website, and um, and is a one of the one of the team members, such as yourself, Carol, 
Nisi and Rusty, um, for the people to say what they've said about Operation Greyhound is really does kind of irk me and, and, and makes my heart very sad because they're people that have never ever gone to the to the rescue, have never ever um, talked to the owners of the place of any nature, and for them to say for you and Carol that you're hogging the dog food and and doing all this crazy stuff with the money, yeah. it, it saddens me that people would people would even do do that. You know that Floor wrote a letter to Operation Greyhound. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, it's just yeah. They're, I mean, they're not even worth anything. They're just again, they're just such scum. But you know, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say about them. I mean, I, I just never known anybody that's so low life as these people are it's just like you know you just i've been around a lot of years and i've never seen anybody just so just nasty they're well, they're, na they're well, gnarly probably, they're nasty you have genie which was at the center of attention within the group you have jamie that got i'm sorry for my language got butt hurt because he got kicked out yeah um then you have Danica. She's butt hurt because she got, she got fired. fired. <laughs> yep. You know, so and that's so funny. You know, you know, you know, like like the last one you said, Danica. Here she is. She begged us and pleaded to work in the hunt and just l wanted to do it so bad. And finally, we did. And you know, we had a fire because of her attitude and things she said here at the at the hunt. But it's sure nice. I sure got, I got a lot of good footage for, footage of her working in the hunt i have all of her messages you know it's just so funny and they're trying to pull such stupid stuff when don't they realize that i film everything you know and the crazy the crazy thing is too when she had made a comment and i'll, I'll screenshot if i can find it she said she didn't have enough time to say to sign the waiver but it's really it's really kind of funny how she turns around and takes a picture while she's doing the waiver uh, yeah yeah, and trust me, in the waiver too. Our waiver is is pretty lock solid. It's five pages. Oh, it's a well, good. That's what I'm saying. You've been doing this for more than a couple of years, and yeah. I'm sure that you've had, you know, lawyer. I mean, I'm sure you've had legal issues for the last twelve years. So I'm sure that everything you have in the terms of that waiver is pretty ironclad. It's so. good. Actually, we've never had any problems ever. So these these little trolls that we have now, they're the ones, and and I got I got to thank them in, in some ways because it's it's enabled me to like make things smarter and uh, you know I just didn't realize there's such scum scumbags out there, but there is. <laughs> you know, well, so. and the other thing is too is you have me like your MM supporters. That have got y'all covered, you and Carol. And as soon as we hear something, we're on the, you know, telling you what's going on and everything else. And that that's never going to change because my opinion about Emmett about McCainy Manor is never going to change. Yeah. So well, that's because it shouldn't. It's all fun and games. It's all smoke and mirrors, and it's all entertainment. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's get back to our question and answer period here. You ready? Okay. All right, yep. we kind of rambled there a little bit. What, what <laughs> can we say? All right, here's another. Oh, I love this one. Is and do you ever or did you ever truly feel threatened during your tour? I did not feel threatened. Like I said, I felt scared. Were you supposed <laughs> because to? Because I didn't know what was <laughs> going to happen from room to room. But um, no, I never felt threatened. More scared than anything. Well, if you weren't scared, we weren't doing our job. So I hope we're, I hope exactly. we're scaring you. Otherwise, why do this if I can't scare you? All right. And then the next one kind of follows on. And this is the one that I really love that we all hear about is, is do you now or have you ever felt truly threatened in any way if you discuss McCamey Manor to your family or friends? Do you, do you think we're going to come out and, and get you and kidnap you and destroy you if you talk about the hunt? That's got to be the most craziest question of all the questions you've asked me is that one. Um, <laughs> you don't seem like you're a bunch of people that are stalkers. 
<laughs> that would go to somebody's house and 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 physically um, start any kind of issues yeah. of any nature. I don't think um, so. That's like <laughs> so ridiculous. It's so far out in left field. Um, not by any means. Um, you say you might you might say well we'll we'll come to your house if you say anything, but it's all part of the smoke and mirrors that's of right. McCainy Manor. It's um, just a figure of speech to kind of to scare you to get that feeling. Yep. But to actually that <laughs> y'all would actually go do it, not by any means. Uh, yeah, it's, it's you all. You see that as part of smoke and mirrors. That's it. And it, it's all acting. Exactly, but that cracks me up though. That one there. Well, the all all these questions kind of crack me up, but uh, and that kind of goes in with the next one here is. Have you always been aware that McKamey Manor is a staged performance show produced for your entertainment? Um, the tour is tailored to like each different person, so it will never be the same for each individual person. Um, it's based on what your fears are, and that's what you're going to wrap around somebody's tour um, based on. Mm-hmm. But... Um, but so the, bo so the bottom line is is did you realize that it's not really real that it's just no it, showbiz it's, it's, all smoke, <laughs> it's all smoke and mirrors and all the people there are are just actors they're putting on a show for your entertainment but once they leave the haunt and you talk to the actors outside of the haunt they're just like normal people yep and that, that kind of and that's my next question is do you understand that all the characters you came in contact with, all the actors, they're just that. They're performers. They're there to act and put on a show for you. Yes. For your entertainment, yes. And um, like I said, outside with my experience, they all, it was all smoke and mirrors. They were all acting. But when um, my, at my drop off point, I actually had conversations with the actors that um, were on my tour, and they were just normal people. And actually, um, at that time, John was taping the um, the the where I was had actually had an interview with yourself and with the two other a actors. And I just happened to stay there because I didn't want to leave yet, <laughs> even though I looked like a mess out in the parking lot. <laughs> I still I still stayed there. And um, all the, the, the two actors were just like normal people. Yep, absolutely. And the next question is, was the McKamey Manor tour a positive and exciting experience and something that you're glad you tried and that you're always going to look back at with fond memories? Of course. Um, I had a blast. I was unsure <laughs> Um, if I was maybe doing the right thing prior to going in, because I did kind of like have a little bit of doubt, but after it was all said and done, I had the best time of my life. It was a hell of a ride, <laughs> and um, I was not any shape, way, or form mentally scarred for the rest of my life, um, and... And I'm coming back again this year, so it can't be all that damn, it can't be that bad of a place. I love it, I love it. And then, the last question, before we just talk for a second, is, is would you ever consider being an actor? I think you said yes already, right? Yes. Um, hopefully, next year, when I um, come back to California permanently, and and you'll let me take me up on that offer. Of course. Of course. I, would, I would love to. I would love to have that honor. Oh, yeah. That goes for all the folks that go through, because the only way to become an actor is you have to take the tour. And being that you're going to take it two times, that definitely qualifies you to be an actor. So we'll, we'll definitely get you in there. That's not going to be a problem. I think that's I think that's fair, don't you? I think so. I think so, too. All right. And that's kind of it on the official question. So now let me ask you this. And we kind of hit it on a little bit. So, but what do you think about all the crazy hate, all the 
misrepresentation of the manor and all the things are going on right now and all the people they're doing all these really horrible things you know what do you think about all that it it saddens me um it hurts because they're they're people that have not physically gone through the manor so they don't know what they're talking about all they're t all they are talking smack is hearsay from from other people yeah you know that and and it's and it's the most outrageous things that i've ever heard in my life yeah it's pretty hurtful you know it's it's very hurtful especially when they when they you know say things of of why you're doing it and you know you're in the business of torturing people and and to me that is very hurtful because you and, and Carol are the most nicest people. Um, you open your home to people, and for people to physically attack you, it's 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 terrible. It's very disgusting. Yeah, it just it, it's heartbroken. I mean, they they said some nasty things about me that are like, uh, you know, really horrible, and it's just like you wonder how they could even do that kind of stuff and how they could say these kind of things and and just makes you wonder it makes you sad thinking that there's people out there that would d say those kind of things lie that way try to cause all this trouble i mean it makes you feel sorry for them i really do feel sorry for them because you just think there's there's gotta be something going on with them that they would do that you know like the people that you know the ones that worked here before like like um, the Danicas, the Anthony North, guys that know better. And again, again, guys that I have all this footage on of them, you know, being an actor. And now they here they are trying to claim the haunt is this and that when they worked in it all that time, like Anthony North. And I have all this footage, hours of footage with him, you know, working with and, and acting as an actor, doing all the things that he says that, we shouldn't be doing it's just it's like what and then <laughs> starting up all these crazy hate pages and it's just it just makes you wonder what kind of people they are that would do that i, I just can't relate to them you know i and and what and also add in which 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 was very which angered me more than anything is that they're adding they were adding people from McKinney manor reservations into their mm rejects group Without their, without, without people even knowing, and without their permission, like they did to me. Yeah. You know, added me to that group, which I never was even part of it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and they have all, they have other groups too. They have secret groups, and it's just, yeah. but they're so nasty. I mean, they're just vile. They really are. So such, you know, this is such a low life thing they got going on there that it's hard to even put put to put into words it's just really disgusting what they're doing and what they're saying and and it's just sad i mean i know i i, I should probably be mad about it but i'm more like really kind of i feel sorry for him you know what i mean i don't know because that's stupid but i just no it's not i just but like if, if your hall was such a bad place why is there twenty seven thousand people waiting to get in yeah yeah exactly it's that, just i don't know i just you know i'm glad i'm glad they found a hobby in mckamey manor <laughs> i'm glad that they have their little yeah since they don't have a real life of their own they can try to do all this stuff with us and i guess that's their it's that's their entertainment but just how sad is it though i mean it really is sad and i don't know i don't it know what is. else to say it is but you, you know, the good thing is, see, you have a lot more supporters than you have haters. Oh, yeah, I know. The the haters are just a small, dinky little f fraction. But I just, you know, <laughs> I just I just wish they'd kind of get some help or something. I don't know. It's just, I feel sorry for them. I don't know what to do for them. But anywho. So any, uh, any follow-on questions for me or anything else you want to add? Because, uh, you know, you're awesome. Way out there in Kuwait, <laughs> like like all the folks that go through the haunt, you guys are awesome. Yeah, but who's nutty enough to go through it again back to back? I don't know. I know. Well, you and and Kristen, um, he's going to go through again, and 
I interviewed him last night. He can't wait to go. So th well, there's a, there's I'm just a curious to know who's going to be my partner because I can't have a Rosalind and James again. No, maybe <laughs> maybe it'll be Eeyore again. Do you remember Eeyore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember him. Well, he wants to go through. So maybe you two would be good together. You and Eeyore would be great together, actually. Well, I'm going to Scooby-Doo. Yeah, there you go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I Just love don't it. Don't decapitate my head this time. Never. Of course we will. Decapitate my head. <laughs> you know that's going to become our costume. That's our souvenirs. We have to take. I know you're have my Scooby Doo on your fence line. Absolutely. We got to have souvenirs of all you guys. We love it. All right, my dear. Well, thanks for hanging out with me for a while. I appreciate it. Well, let me say all my love to the McKinney Manor family all the way from Kuwait. You know, I love y'all with all the bottom of my heart and even Operation Greyhound, too. So. You're the best. All right. Um, well, we appreciate all your support. You guys, all of you guys that support us, we really appreciate because you guys know the real deal and you know what we're all about. And um, and that's what that's what matters. So I really appreciate it. You have my support 100 percent. All right. You stay safe out there in Kuwait. I will, and I'll be seeing you in October. You got it. Bye. All right. All right. Bye. All right. We love bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> bye.